I am Bardock, the talking goose. I was born in an egg, about three years ago, with all the other geese. This is what birds do. I was born a different shape and colour to the shape and colour I appear now, black and fluffy. My wings were hardly designed to fly, and I was water-bound for at least six months, during which time my mother took me out on the water and taught me the ways of the world, eating newts and water boatmen. Occasionally a human child would come and throw a piece of soggy bread into the water for us to eat, and occasionally we would break the child's arms and steal the entire loaf using our incredibly powerful wings. Since then I have developed a keen interest in modern art, collecting entire works of Jackson Pollock, holding dinner parties with Damien Hurst and Tracy Eamon, flying to New York, literally with my wings, to meet Charles Saatchi at the Guggenheim for a cup of chamomile tea. All this might seem outlandish for a humble goose, but in this day and age a goose has to work extremely hard to make the right friends, and it's thanks to my unique social network of artists and poets that I have been able to support myself financially without the need to enter full-time work. I remember speaking to Andy Warhol a few years ago before he passed away, and uh, Andy said to me, You're different. You look different. You sound different. You smell different. You seem to find it difficult to string basic sentences together when we wake up in the morning after making love. But I said to Andy, don't be fooled by the feathers. We are lizards underneath. And when we take over the world, you will bow to the will of the swan and the goose with an almighty thunder. Three weeks later, Andrew lost his life. I sometimes wonder if I did or said anything wrong, but that's only when I'm trying to open a can of beans, which is hardly on a regular basis.